the latest Jane Austen adaptation has been widely panned by critics and Austen fans alike. Northeastern's Nicole Leo breaks it down, what makes an Austen adaptation work? Photo by Netflix awful, awkward and lifeless, and a tough sell, are just a few of the ways critics have described the latest adaptation of Jane Austen's 1817 novel Persuasion. Critics and Austen fans alike have widely panned the film, which premieres July 15th on Netflix, for diluting Austen. The film has received some positive reviews, but holds a 36% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. What went wrong with this iteration of Persuasion? Nicola Leo, professor of English and Africana Studies in the College of Social Sciences and Humanities, teaches classes on Austin, including Austin in film. She says that while it's not possible to achieve full accuracy in a film adaptation, from what she's seen, this one does fall short of expectations. Persuasion was written shortly before Austin's death in 1817, becoming the last of her six major published novels, which include other classics like now in her late 20s, Elliot is forced to contend with her decision after her former suitor comes back into her life. Nicola Leo, Associate Professor of English and African American Studies at Northeastern University. Courtesy photo in the 200 years since its publication, Elio says, persuasion, and especially its lessons on marriage, friendship, and class, still resonates widely with readers. It's just a really wonderful novel, and it has the most romantic letter ever written, Olio says. For a lot of people, it's a touchstone. The strong response to the adaptation, then, is not surprising. Olio may be more charitable than some fans, she acknowledges that even the best Austin adaptations are not going to be completely accurate, and it's unfair to demand that they are.